Well guys, even with a hundred dollar like incentive, I was not able to get into Steel Pinning's latest lock that he sent to me. This, this really is a cool thing. I've never seen anything like it. It's made out of foil. It's actual size. It really does look like a hundred bucks, but don't try to spend it. Um, this is the latest from Steel Pinnings. He calls this his happy days. I was not able to get into this after about two hours of picking. I got some false sets, but nothing very significant. There's what your bidding looks like. So you can see you got a lot of high-low, high-low, exactly what you'd want to see on a, uh, on a challenge lock. I'll start with what's the easiest thing first. In the Bible, uh, everything is normal except pin or chamber number six. It's threaded oddly only on, looks like only on one side. So pretty nasty. I don't know how we did that. Uh, on the core itself, we got a lot of variation. In chamber number one, it's undercut and then threaded. Three is undercut. Four is the only normal chamber of all of them. Five is undercut and then six is fully threaded. So everything, uh, a lot of everything, every chamber has something done to it except chamber number four right there. All right, let's take a look at the pins and see what we're dealing with. Now remember, well, first of all, all the key pins are all standard. Let me tilt this down just a little bit so I don't have to tip that board. All key pins are normal, but a lot of high, low, high, low, high, low, just like you'd want to see. In chamber number one, which is an undercut chamber, we have an ASA pin designed to grab that undercut, and believe me, it did a great job. Uh, chamber number two in the core was threaded, and of course we have some sharp edges on that homemade spool right there. Chamber number three was undercut, and in that case, grab my tweezers here, we actually had a two-piece pin. This one fits, if I can get it to cooperate, fits right down inside of there. So if one piece or the other got snagged up in that undercut chamber, this thing fell apart, leaving you a mess to pick. Uh, number four was a normal chamber, but we still had some... I don't want to call them serrations because they're really just filed slots. It's not a perfectly round pin, but it did a good job of grabbing even in the smooth chamber, I got to say. Uh, number five, let's see what we got here. Number five was an undercut chamber. So again, we got some sharp edges, homemade pin to grab the undercut. And then the last one, of course, was a threaded chamber. Nice little serrations. And even if you manage to pick your way past all the serrations, it has a little T-pin element built into it right there. A lot of work went into this, a lot of thought into matching up the right pins with the right chambers, and then if things weren't nasty enough, take a look at the springs. We have a pretty much a weak spring here. This one is a doubled up spring to give extra tension on that, and then the rest of these, these three are pretty much the same. That one's a little bit longer, and then we have a steel pin, kind of weak in chamber number six really nasty pins core and springs add all that to this incredible bidding and you've got a lock that i was not able to pick so steel pinnings i'm going to have to return this to you unpicked i'm going to refund your hundred dollars and get this and probably the other locks that you sent back to me as well if they're pinned anything like this one you guys might see some more whipped by steel pinnings videos in the near future. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal, still pinnings. Thanks for the lock, man.